It's Friday, family, and this is Pastor Flowers here at Transformation Community Church. And this is Friday Drill with Pastor Flowers. And I have an awesome word that's going to come to you that really helps us understand that we are all in this thing together. Amen and hallelujah. And the word today is going to come out of Ephesians 2 and 18. And the title of this is Diversity Together. Amen. So this is what the word says. Now, all of us can come to the Father through the same Holy Spirit because of what Christ has done for us. Now, many of you all know that over the past three years, while I've been a pastor here at a newly planted church, one of the stories that I hear over and over and over again has really come from our new members. People who did not grow up in a church or who were rejected or bullied by church members in the past have shared that once they came to our church, they had a, a new feeling. They felt something different. Amen and hallelujah. What they said is, is that for the first time, they felt loved, that they felt like they belonged, and they no longer felt that they were judged. Amen. They learned that this place, Transformation Community Church, was a place for them, and now it's a place for them to call home. Amen. Now, I wonder if that was the same thing for the Gentiles uh, who had long been treated as outsiders um, to be invited into God's story of good news for all people. Paul reminds them in Ephesians that they were all members, that all of the Gentiles were vital members of God's family. God's story of reconciliation is amazing. Amen and hallelujah. Jesus' death on the cross for all sinners has broken down the hostilities between all peoples. We are all equal at the cross. Each and every one of us are equal at the cross. D Christ died for every last one of us. When he was on the cross, he had all of us in mind. Amen and hallelujah. Jesus' sacrifice at the cross, it gave us one body, not many bodies. Amen. It's the place where we lay down our differences and pick up God's grace. One thing I really need for you to understand is that it shouldn't matter our color. It shouldn't matter our creed and it shouldn't matter our culture. All that should matter is that we are Christians. Amen. And hallelujah. Help me some body. And I'm going to share that with you one more time because that's really, really important that we as uh, the body of Christ understands that it shouldn't matter our color and it shouldn't matter our creed and it should not even matter our culture. All that matters is that we are Christians. Amen and hallelujah. Too often, y'all, the, the body of church, the, the church body, uh, we have divided over what is comfortable for us rather than what God offers. Today is a good day to meet your neighbor or anyone who needs to know that the good news story is for them as well. It's our responsibility to share the good news, preach the gospel, and win souls for Christ as Christians, not as separate entities, not as sects, but we are to do this together, no matter what color you are, no matter your creed, and no matter your culture. Amen and hallelujah. Family, let us pray. God, thank you that we are no longer strangers, but part of your family. Help us to be your one body together and to let the world know by our love for one another that we are connected to you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Come on, give it up for Jesus. Amen and hallelujah. Family, until this time, next week, Friday, I want you to know that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I also need for you to know that God loves you so, so, so much more. So until this time, next week, Friday, have a most favored weekend. 